among the hustle and bustle of the busy Port-au-Prince streets, the sounds of smooth jazz can be heard high up on the mountain. Now in its 13th year, the Port-au-Prince International Jazz Festival has become one of the largest music festivals in the Caribbean. More than 20,000 people gather in Haiti's capital city to hear musicians from across the globe. People from all over the, the world, not just Haitians, but people from Sweden, people from Switzerland, people from Spain, people from, from Israel. These are just people I'm naming that are on this festival that have come here. Including British soul songstress Joss Stone and Grammy Award winning jazz vocalist Cecile McLaurin Salvant. I don't think it's a music for the elite. I think it's a music for everyone. And the challenge is how do we bring it to everyone? And that's what pop jazz is doing. The week long festival includes several free concerts. Performers also host workshops giving advice and mentoring Haiti's young musicians at no cost. I was playing jazz. I may, when I was young, I didn't have the chance to, to see the artists, talk to them, to ask them a question. But now, not only you can go on YouTube and check it out, but you can see him coming here, you ask him a question, he shows you exactly how he does it, and so I think that's that's a big difference. Haitian-American singer-songwriter Felicia Ross tells me pop jazz not only displays Haiti's thriving jazz scene, but it opens the world to a side of Haiti not often shown. I think that it's really important for people to see that Haitian, means a lot of things. Haiti means a lot of things. The festival will benefit the Haiti Jazz Foundation. The nonprofit was founded by legendary singer and percussionist Joel Widmeyer. I love jazz. I was born in jazz and I love music and I say, you know, why not doing one in Haiti? And for the first time this year, Pap Jazz is going green, allowing guests to adopt a tree. It's all in an effort to boost the island's tourism industry. It's such an un untapped, undiscovered, unrealized, gorgeous land. While highlighting the country's rich culture. There's like something pulsing in the earth here, you know, especially like we said, it is the first free black republic in the world. You know, there's historical richness. 